Hello everyone, welcome to my new modeling episode and today we have exciting model kit from Engine Titor. So this is 3D printed T56 A15 turboprop engine model from famous Hercules Transport Aircraft C130. This free review sample has been provided by EngineTutor.com, model store when you can find this and many more other model kits. And as the name implies, Engine Tutor specializes in engine model kits. So with introduction out of the way, let's start with the unboxing and model assembly. Inside of this big box we will find big variety of 3D printed parts in different sizes. Some parts, so specifically as this power terminal, came already pre-assembled. Besides all the PLA plastic parts, we also get some electronics. More about that later in a video. We also get power supply, Phillips head screws and a screwdriver. In a second layer of a box, we will find the biggest parts, such as propeller and the main body of engine. So as you already noticed, we have no paper instructions and that one we will have to download from the official website. So let's get out everything out of the box and start building. So model kit comes with these Phillips head screws and that's not ideal and I would much prefer to have hex screws for the model. It is also important to remember that some parts of this model are one directional, so it is very important to follow the instructions and install everything in a correct order. And because this is a 3D printed model, some parts may come with the supports that you later have to remove by yourself. And for me, as a model builder, this is a biggest downside, cause I'm so used to perfect model kits that are ready for general consumer. However, this might be a good model for those who like venturing and DIY projects. But if you expect Lego-like experience, this is not a model for you. Now I will slow down with a commentary and will leave you with a built video. At the end of a build, we will evaluate the model and I will share my final thoughts. So please, enjoy the build!
To make it less intimidating and easier for beginners, engine tutor ships electronic components partially pre-wired. So it means Arduino Nano module is already with the correct code and wires are labeled. So here we have it, almost completed turboprobe motor and not everything went smoothly, so currently I have some negative things to share. So as you probably noticed, I ended up using my own screwdriver, cause included one is complete crap. But that obviously was not the main problem, because I had uh, issues that were far more important for me. So let's begin with the biggest problem and that would be 3D print supports. So those were not removed in a quite few parts. And specifically, if you are a beginner modeler, this could stop you from building this model. Because I found myself way too many times in a situation when screw isn't simply going into designated screw hole. Because part of a support material is blotting the way. Another downside of this model is questionable selection of electronic parts. So included potentiometers were way too big for the 3D printed case. However, somehow later I managed to cram them in, but this wasn't the ideal solution because fixing nuts were still missing from the kit. And all the wiring in this kit is extremely cheaply made and stiff. I guess engine Kitor just went with the cheapest option to save cost, but it ended up with a very frustrating experience because cables were falling off and I had to use my soldering iron quite a few times. So this power plug came this way from the factory, not very professional if you ask me, just a twisted wire with an electric tape on top, but I guess this is acceptable because everything in this model kit just screams DIY project. Also there is nothing included to aid you in cable management, not even a zip ties, so I had to buy cable management loom from local hobby store. There is also some good things to say about engine tutor approach regarding the wiring, Everything is nicely labeled with the letters and person without any engineering background or knowledge in electronics should have easy time. Overall, 3D printed parts are quite good and high quality, however, there are a few parts that are bent from incorrect cooling. This will not affect your model that much, but it will look sloppy. Also, due to same cooling issues and layer height settings, some holes are smaller than needed. But fortunately, PLA plastic can be adjusted in every way, like melted, bent, polished, shaved, etc. 
Even in the official instructions, Engine Tutor recommends polishing and sanding some moving parts. And I really hope that version of this model kit made for a general public will be more polished. But if you are in for a DIY project and you like fingering, this could be a perfect option for educational class or similar activities. So I already said quite a few negative things about this model, but we haven't even tested the functioning electronic parts. So let's give this model another chance and see how it looks, functions and sounds. So here we have it, our finished model and finally ready for a demo. As you can see there is a control box with the two levers, left one is for a rotation speed and right one is for a pitch of a propeller. So because of missing nuts for the potentiometers, control box looks crooked and wonky. So we can choose between closed and exposed side panels, as you can see there is a combustion chamber and some other moving parts inside. So as I already said, this model is definitely not for everyone, not everyone would choose to display this model kit in their living room or office, simply because this model kit is quite big and it being a 3D printed model, it can be quite boring for some of you. But I truly believe some aviation enthusiasts could really appreciate it. So thank you for watching this build video and a demo, hope you liked it. Also big thanks to Engine Tutor for providing this model kit. And if you didn't enjoy this specific model, they have many more, please consider following the link and browsing their store for something you might like. Once again, thank you for watching and see you soon in my next modeling episode. Oh, I almost forgot, so this is how it sounds.